Hey everyone, Nat Frankenstein here and today I will be unboxing Loot Crate for the month of July. Um, this is going to be my last Loot Crate. Um, I'm cancelling our subscription and I will give you the reason why. So if you're interested, keep watching. <laughs> Okay, you guys, so here we have the Loot Crate for the month of July. It's a pretty big one. Um, the theme for this month is Heroes 2. Um, so they are recycling a theme. Um, okay, so I'm already a little bit iffy about the whole recycling of themes. Um, but Heroes is, I guess, Heroes is a pretty good theme to recycle if they were going to recycle any. So anyway, without further ado, let's jump on in. So I'll just quickly show you the artwork. As you see, artwork in every loot crate. So the first thing I'm pulling out of the loot crate is this uh, Q-pop figure. Um, this one is Batman and it's actually really, really cute. Um, I'll quickly unbox it so you guys can have a look. So there's a little Batman figurine. Um, he's standing on top of a gargoyle. He looks real cute on a little bit of a rare dagger. Um, and it also comes with, well, I won't take it out because it's um, sticky taped in, but it comes with a POW sign and like a whiteboard marker. So you can um, put this part into the base. Um, and then you can write your own little message on the blue part. And when you get sick of having that message on, you just use the magic eraser that's on the pen and you just rub it off. So that's a really cool little toy that came in the loot crate this month. The next item is a Legend of Zelda, um, I guess you'd call it a sweatband. Um, and there's only one. It is a Loot Crate exclusive. It says on the back there. Um, and this is made by BioWorld. Next up, we have a Batman multi-tool. Um, so, I don't know if you can see, but um, it's four instruments in one. So, it's a bottle opener, a keychain, um, hang on a minute, a crosshead screwdriver and a flathead screwdriver. This doesn't make sense to me. Like, why would you need two different types of screwdrivers on a bottle opener? I realize it's meant to be a multi-tool, but I just, I don't get it. Um, it'd make a cool keychain. It's pretty heavy, um, so I don't know if it's really functionable as a keychain because the last thing you need is your keys being weighed down, so meh, I guess. <laughs> Next up, we have a air freshener. This is a vanilla air freshener. And, um, of course, it is a Star Trek uh, air freshener. For those of you who don't know, obviously, it's a reference to Mr. Spock and Live Long and Prosper. And this is kind of cool. I love novelty air fresheners. So I have a Mega Man one in my car. So this will be up next. Next up, we have a... What is it? It's a code for a Steam game called Brawlhalla. It's a free-to-play platform brawler, um, and you get some unlockables, which I don't play Steam, so I don't play any games on Steam, so that is irrelevant to me. We also get in this month's crate a She Can Do It poster. Of course, it's Wonder Woman. She looks beautiful. I actually like the artwork on this. Um, it is only a very small poster, as you can see, probably the size of my head. Um, oh, I like it, but I don't know if I like it enough to put it on my wall. Um, I'm not huge on Wonder Woman or DC or anything like that, so um, yeah. So as with every month, you get the Loot Crate magazine and you get a Loot Crate pin. And finally, we have a book. It's called The League of Regrettable Superheroes. So pretty much um, it goes through the different ages of comic books. Um, and I guess it just kind of picks out like the worst superheroes. Um, this is actually really quite funny to, um, to go through and kind of see you know, what was made into a superhero. So I actually like this. I like these kind of weird little novelty books. And um, this is actually a really good um, piece of the Loot Crate this month. 
So there you have it, you guys. That's all of July's Loot Crate. As I mentioned, the theme was Heroes 2. Um, now, we will be cancelling our Loot Crate subscription because, honestly, I think the only good thing in this crate, really, like, the thing I really, really love the most and the only thing I really love the most was the Batman statue. And I've kind of noticed that Loot Crate, um, for me... Personally, this is just a personal opinion. Um, lately, it's been very miss when it comes to hit and miss. For me, it's, you know, the last couple of boxes have been a miss. Um, or, you know, even if I have, like, some of the items on the whole, it's just a kind of miss for me. Um, you know, th I mean... When it comes to pop culture stuff, there's a myriad of themes that you could choose from. And for me to be rehashing um, themes again, it just kind of sh doesn't show me that they're running out of ideas. But I'm starting to think that maybe they're dropping the ball a little. Um, one of the other reasons that we're cancelling the crate is because of the exchange rate. Um, I live in Australia, obviously, um, and, you know, um, from what is a $20 loot crate plus postage, um, for us Australians, it becomes almost a $40 crate with postage, you know, and I just can't justi uh, justify paying $40 for posters I could probably print out myself air fresheners, which you can get anywhere, um, you know, download codes, which I don't use, I'm not going to use, I have no one to give them to, I'm not going to sell them because that's shit, um, you know, it's, it's a lot of things that it's not relevant to me or not relevant to what I collect or my lifestyle, um, so I just, as sad as I am, I feel like I kind of have no choice in doing so. Um, so yeah, this is our last loot crate. Um, it's a bit of a sad loot crate to end on because as I said, you know, I like maybe really like two things, the Batman or the Batman is what I really loved and the book, which is, you know, kind of a novelty thing. I kind of really like that, but um, yeah, I don't know. It's sad, you guys. I mean, I love getting geekery and, you know, all kinds of nerdy goodiness in the mail, but I just, we can't do it anymore. Not for like $40 Australian when this stuff is probably worth not even half of that, you know. So it's a sad way to end our uh, final Loot Crate you know, unboxing and, and to end our Loot Crate journey. But unfortunately, um, yeah, I will not be doing any more unboxings of Loot Crate on my channel. Fortunately, it's not such a happy review and unboxing this time. But if you got the Loot Crate for the month of July, let me know your thoughts on it. Um, you know, did you like what was in it? Do you think it's worth the money? Yeah, if you like this video, um, give me a thumbs up. Um, subscribe to my channel if you haven't and until next time I'm Natty Frankenstein and I will see you later